There lies a peaceful native community at the Northern Olympic Peninsula in the heart of Quinault Nation. A place of pride, of heritage of traditions, and a home to all that visit. In 1989, a vision and a canoe journey was born from an elder by the name of Emmett Oliver. Since then, canoe journeys have gained enormous strength and following. 44 families from the United States, Canada, and New Zealand will take part in this experience. Journeys begin at various points throughout the Pacific Northwest and last 8 to 12 days, paddling with the tides and the wide open waters. This year's destination was Point Grenville. Paddlers are granted permission to come ashore and so begins the celebration. Paddle to Quinault went beyond what can ever be imagined unless personally witnessed. As part of the welcoming, the Quinaults constructed a welcome totem, a spirit to help guide over the shores and the people that welcome this land. James de la Cruz Jr. was the carver gifted with the task of making this remarkable beauty. And we, got, we harvested it off the north boundary, which is up by Lake Quinault. Uh, it's uh, harvested off a cultural stand where we have old growth timber that's been reserved for cultural purposes, but the timber that we have on the land there is basically all the cedar that we have for future generations. It's been really an honor for me to be able to carve a log that comes out of that stand. In 2009, a decision was made by Tribal Council to expand the original site of Point Grenville. David Montgomery, Chief Budget Officer, gave us an inside look at what it takes to make such an event happen, how this land transformed over the past four years, and its hope for the future. To make this event happen, it takes hundreds and hundreds of people coming together from all walks of life, whether that's professional event planners, cultural leaders, elders in the community, youth, dancers, or just general staff to fill in all the different events but we have about 400 employees assigned to this event, as well as a marketing campaign to the local community trying to get volunteers, where we said this summer we're all Quinault, we would like you to stand with us and make this event a success for this entire community, whether it's the reservation or off reservation. Well, this, this event was a challenging time, so um, if we got through this, we can do anything, given the challenges that I've mentioned to you, hosting all these people out here, and every year canoe journey gets bigger and bigger. So really, coming out of this, I feel like we can, we can do anything. No vision for this site or for our future in Equinol is, is unachievable. But um, it's the community events where we get together and feast and give gifts and do all that that keeps us strong, because that's what Quinault people are. You know, it's the tide of the culture. A family from Chehalis, a tribe just to the south, shared the story of losing their father and paddling in honor of his memory. I've been waiting for him to get old enough to paddle, to fill, to fill his dance dreams. Well, he's doing it right now. Yes, he is. And I'm really proud of I think Papa's looking down, down at you right now. We sat with Ken Workman from the East who described what it was like to be out on the water and working with his canoe family. The paddle is it's, it's a journey of all tribes getting together and everything is forgotten, all the politics are forgotten for this paddle and you get to work hard. So in addition to that you get to be on the water and the water is, is uh, part of our culture, it's part of me. And so as soon as I can get near the water, the closer to the water I can get, the better I feel. And in a canoe, you're real close to the water. Uh, on Journey you get to do that. You also get to meet up with all the different tribes and, and there are all the different cultures and their songs and dances. You might be able to hear some of that going on behind me right now. 
This is where we share all of these things. Who are you? And what are your songs? And what are your dances? What, what stories can you bring and tell? And so that's what we do. For the Duwamish, it was 40 miles, and that's, that's 13 days. And so this journey, some days were easy and some days were hard. It's uh, for the people traveling from the north end, we'll say, from the, from the Seattle area up around um, Nia Bay, which is Macaw, and then down along the coast. It's been quite an adventure. It's been my understanding that the people paddling from the south, it's been rather nice. And so 2013 will be an epic year, I'm sure. <laughs> We stepped away from Point Grenville for an afternoon and went into the town of Tahola. While the canoe convergence is of great magnitude, it is tradition that keeps local economy in balance. Quinaults have thrived on natural resources and culture for centuries. They are true to the ways of the past with historic dances and singing. These traditions are stronger than ever. We witnessed a village, a community of leaders and their fellow man, woman, and child bring this gathering to life. By week's end, many have begun the journey home, others stay on. The final day is reserved for Quinault. Ten canoes were carved and given to families that held a special place. Dances wove throughout the day, and by the evening, the six-day ceremony had commenced. This nation is proud. They thrive, they live on in their economy that will continue to support them for seven generations and beyond.